A memorial service was held in honor of an East Tennessee historian. John Rice Irwin passed away earlier this year. Six on Your Side reporter Veronica Obey was there and has more now on how his loved ones came together to remember him. The founder of the Museum of Appalachia died in January at the age of 91. His name, John Rice Irwin, and he wore a lot of hats. He was an educator and historian in Anderson County. And along the way, he started collecting items leading to his museum opening in 1969. He would see things in somebody's backyard or um, in an outhouse and somewhere, and he'd say, you know, do you are you interested in selling or parting with these things? It's what he soon became known for the items he collected and the stories behind them all from Southern Appalachia. You know we're proud of our heritage here. We want people to know that people from Southern Appalachia are really great people. From the music to the history. Irwin impacted his community and it showed as many people gathered to celebrate his life, knowing of not only the history, but the stories of common people that could be found in his museum. He wanted to share those stories of the Appalachian people. I think that's what came through and what everybody said and, you know, just growing up is that every, every life matters, every story, everybody has something to tell. And through every story, the family of Irwin hopes this will lead others to take interest in their own community. That they seek out other people and they want to share their stories. I think that's kind of nice. For Good Morning Tennessee, reporting in Anderson County, Veronica Obey, WATE 6 on your side. All right, thank you, Veronica. Now, if you would like to make a donation in memory of Irwin, we have information for you to do so on our website, WATE.com.